Something I want you to think about as you look to either buy or sell a home, I want you to want ask yourself, is it the price of your home or the price of your happiness? So I recently read a post on Steve Harney's KCM blog, which stands for Keeping Current Matters. It's one of the best resources, besides my website of course, for current information on the real estate market. Okay, the story he shared was about a man selling a home. However, the lesson could be applied to anything in life, really. So as I share this, think about the true reason you do anything. As many times, our egos can get in the way and prevent us from achieving happiness. So Steve recently gave a presentation about the current real estate market to a group of uh, home sellers in a city in the, the Northeast. Okay, that night, he explained to them that home values in their area were about to be negatively impacted by a surge of distressed properties entering the market in their area over the coming year, much like here in Orlando, Florida. As he often finds to be the case that the, the homeowners, they were receptive. Many felt they now had the information they needed to make a good decision with regard to pricing their home, you know, that they were looking to sell in this market. Now, after the class that night, Several of the homeowners, they approached Steve and they wanted to privately discuss their personal situations. One of these homeowners, he said something that has had a huge impact on the way I think. He shared with Steve that he had come to the revelation that night. Excuse me. This particular homeowner, he put his home on the market with plans to move here to Florida where his daughter and his infant grandson live. Now, he missed his daughter very, very much. He missed his grandson even more, though. And he hated every passing day that he wasn't able to, I quote, hold the baby in his arms and rock him to sleep at night. Now, that night at the seminar, he thanked Steve for reminding him of the reason he put his house on the market. And, you know, he, he needed reminded of why he did that in the first place. The reason was he needed to join his family. And the wisdom in his final words was, was striking to me. He said, I thought putting a price on my home while I hold out, you know, hoping to get a few more dollars. What I found is I'm actually putting a value on my happiness. So he adjusted his asking price that night, sold it three days later, and very soon he'll be able to rock his grandson to sleep at night here in Orlando, Florida. So now they'll all be very happy and content. Whatever your situation may be, you know, think about the true reason that you're looking to do anything, you know, whether it is uh, buy that new car, whether it is to buy or sell your house, you know, whatever the reason, think about the true reason behind it. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.